Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. For those of you guys who know me, you're gonna notice that this is indeed a new background. It's the elephant in the room and that you're gonna have to wait and hear about in another video. For today, I do indeed have a very small Phoebe Philo unboxing and I can't wait to get into it with you guys. If you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Also, just a quick apology, my ring light completely died today. So we're getting another one tomorrow, but this was pressing. I really wanna share this with you guys. I wanna hear your thoughts. I have some thoughts myself. So just please excuse the absolutely horrible lighting. To start, yes indeed, I did get one item from Phoebe Philo. If you guys have seen, I did put out an entire video. I recorded it the day, like just a couple hours after the drop and then released it, you know, a day and a half after. As we know me, I, I always admittedly like to stay on the positive side of things because there's a lot of negative talk and I think with a lot of releases, this is drummed up, you know, maybe even more than, than what is normal. A lot of kind of criticism and everything. And so there are a few points that I wanna kind of quickly touch on that won't be it for my commentary on this drop or on this collection. I wanna continue the conversation because I've been having so many amazing kind of chats with you guys individually. And so if you wanted to see in my unboxing, you know, skip ahead. But I think it's important. And so this is just the start because for one, the accessibility of this drop was a lot more kind of complicated. I actually was thinking that the pieces would just like immediately sell out, that I would have no chance in getting anything. And this kind of weird like purgatory thing happened where so many people actually placed orders. And as I said in my video, I wasn't sure if mine was gonna go through because it was, it's, it said in the email very clearly, your order has been received, not confirmed. And since then, some of my dear friends here on YouTube, some of my friends, their orders got canceled. And it's like, okay, there's a difference between, I don't know what's better. I honestly don't know what's better. Going like in circles on a website and then not being able to check out because there's too high of a volume or actually getting to the place where you've placed your order but then having it canceled just a couple days later or hours later, I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's better, but I guess they've gone with this type of a system. I don't know if they overpromised. I don't know what happened on their back end. I am no tech person and I do not work for this company, so I have no idea. I just realized the, you know, the significance that I did indeed somehow get to place my order and actually receive it. And so I'm so sorry. And I hope that the drops going forward, just like, kind of get better and better. I hope that there's either less traffic or I hope that there's more transparency with the drops. I don't know. I'm just really sorry. And then there are two other things that I wanted to just quickly, again, this is kind of just the start of a conversation because yes, this is an unboxing video and I actually am quite happy with my purchase and I'm very excited to hear your thoughts. There are a couple things that I, one, I was completely, completely ignorant to and so I have to apologize for. A couple of you guys, which is why I love this community so, so, so much, and then more people going forward, but one of you even a couple weeks ago alerted me to this Iman interview that now has been mentioned in everybody's videos, so I have to mention it as well. I was completely, completely unaware, which is like my bad, <laughs> so I should be doing research on this subject, I was completely unaware. And for those of you guys who have not seen it, and this is just, you know, my alleged comments about it. All, everything is just my opinion in this video as per usual. In this kind of infamous video that I'm sure was very big when it happened a few years ago, and then it definitely started recirculating with the actual release of Phoebe Philo's line. Iman recounts, it's not clear to me whether Phoebe Philo actually said this to her directly, or she heard through the grapevine. So again, everything is alleged. Mon in that interview talks about Phoebe Philo feeling like she doesn't want to be forced to use black models, which I had no idea. And I feel really stupid and I'm really sorry because now I've had some really wonderful conversations, again, just the beginning with you guys because I didn't know that. And it's really disappointing. And here's the thing is that yes, in this new release, I think then a lot of people 
we're very aware of that. In this new release, there is a beautiful variety of humans chosen to be the models of all different skin tones of all different races. I don't know their races or ethnicities exactly. I should do more research on the models that were chosen, but you know, I maybe to a fault like to always believe that there can be some change in someone, that there can be growth, that there can be learning lessons. And I really, really hope that that was done for the right reasons, that Phoebe Philo chose her models because she loved those people and she wanted them to model her pieces. However, one of you guys brought up the point that, you know, if she hadn't done that, she would have gotten into a lot of trouble, especially with this interview kind of circulating back again. And so I don't know. I always like to keep it positive, but the truth of the matter is that I really don't know. And so a lot of people, rightfully so, are choosing not to support her kind of going forward. And I'm totally understanding and also like maybe I'm leaning that way a little bit going forward. The thing is that like so many people criticize the prices and the designs and everything and I've heard some like very not nice things said especially even just like about the woman who would buy pieces from this collection and I you know it's it's challenging to hear so much negative talk the designs themselves I love I really love the essence of the brand I really love the essence of the designs I really love it and that's just the truth and you guys know that from my first video those loafers I literally thought people were gonna be dying over them I said in my video I thought they were the most beautiful things to come about like possibly of that entire drop and then everybody said that they were the ugliest things I've ever seen and so I think that a lot of people get very swayed by the internet's opinions. And so if we're talking just designs, I happen to really quite love the entire collection. I was critical of the jewelry, I think rightfully so, as a fine jewelry designer who's worked in the industry for over a decade. However, you know, just from a pure design standpoint, I actually love the pieces and I just have to say that, but I will definitely be keeping a very, very, very keen eye out for any more evidence or incidences of Phoebe Philo in regards to his claims and you will see. I don't know how I'm gonna feel going forward, quite frankly. I wanna be as transparent as possible. I might fall in love with the bags. We've really just seen just a little taste. The other thing that, you know, this is not a this is just a full-on fact. We can see it with our own eyes. That I really think I didn't, like, I think I was up on adrenaline and I was excited when the collection came out. And then I said to myself, I am so almost, like, trained as a plus-size woman to just immediately bypass all the clothes. And then I thought to myself, what? Like, this is not fair. And this is a quick little rant that I will do. So again, if you just want to see the unboxing, go straight there and I will not feel bad at all. Like, go ahead, skip to what I got. But just quickly, like, I realized that I really sat at my computer that day, like I do with all drops, especially with the brands that I love so much. My favorite brand, The Row. My other favorite brand, Bottega Veneta. My favorite brands, and quite frankly, just like, large, large, large brands, LVMH brands, Caring House brands, brands in general, and now including Phoebe Philo, I have never once been able to say, man, let me check out the jackets. Maybe I'll get a gorgeous coat this year. Maybe I'll splurge. I loved the trousers. I am a very curvy human being. <laughs> I'm plus size and my body's like eight different sizes. My size 20 bottom half would never ever be able to fit into any of those trousers that I think are so stunning. Every time I talk with you guys, everything it's like, I so badly want to be in the conversation of like, ooh, I just got this gorgeous coat from Bottega Veneta. Or, ooh, I just splurged on this beautiful sweater from The Row. I wish I could say that I was in that world and I'm unfortunately not and I just have to say that in this video because as much as I love Phoebe Philo's collection, I wish I could fit in it. And that shouldn't be about me changing myself, that should be about designers changing themselves. I wasn't even gonna comment at all on Kylie Jenner's new brand on the Kai drop because I think it's very early, we've only seen a little bit, it looks like she's collaborating with different designers. And however, in this Phoebe Philo video, I actually have to give credit because I was very curious. And I saw Mary's video on her channel, Mary's Room, and I was like, oh, okay, let me check. And then when you got the little preview for the Kai site, I said, oh, you know what? At least this is a brand with extended sizes. Why is that so hard? Like, why is that so hard? And so honestly, like, 
go off. Like, go Kylie Jenner. Thank you. Genuinely, Jordan Woods' brand is size inclusive. Like, why can I still not go into Chanel? Why can I still not go into Prada? Why can I still not go into Bottega de Veneta and buy a jacket and buy a pair of pants and buy a shirt? Like, it's a little bit unfathomable to me. And I just had to say that in this video because I realized, like, I just am so trained to say, oh, amazing. Let's go to the accessories. And I'm all, like... I don't know which came first, the chicken or the egg, truly, because I've been a plus size woman for the majority of my life. And so I really like, hello, I, I own a jewelry brand. I started a jewelry brand because of that exact reason, because handbags and shoes and sunglasses and jewelry are kind of the only thing I get in the luxury sphere. And I really, as much as possible, try not to support fast fashion brands. When you're plus size, it's kind of hard not to. And I just like, I just had to say that. I'm very curious if, you know, if you guys have the same experience or if there are any brands that aren't just plus size brands that are actually inclusive that you guys know of, like I'd really, really love to know. And with that rant, I digress because, you know, clearly we all know that I got an accessory, but on to, the unboxing, what we've been waiting for. Okay, so it was, it was very simple. So there's only a couple pieces that came with it. It's very kind of infamous black logo on a white background, just very simply saying Phoebe Philo. And then what is in this? Ah. Mm. Okay, so we have, I don't exactly know what this is. I'm not going to lie. Looks like stickers to very large as we've been talking about, the red of the very kind of like intense red that she's been using <laughs> that is not exactly coming off correctly on camera. It's actually quite, it's quite a deep red. It looks more like light and airy on camera. It's a, it's a real intense red. So, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure I have a use for this, but maybe someone does. Okay, and then it looks like just, the how to return a product. Very exciting, which we love a good, you know, return instructions. And yeah, nothing else is in that little envelope. So this is very minimally packaged. And then on to the item, which I'm, I'm not sure how many units were made of everything. I've heard rumblings, again, allegedly, of there being like 100 units. But I feel like on this particular item, there's no way that there were just a hundred and maybe, but because it was like at least one of the lowest priced items, it's possible that they made more of these. So again, a very lovely black box with then the inverted white logo, which is really nice. You know, some recycling instructions on there. We love to recycle. And ladies and gentlemen, what we have is yes indeed, I'm sure as everyone has guessed, a pair of sunglasses, which again, let's see, I believe that these are probably just like care instructions, more of the little kind of blank minimal logos, blank minimal logos, a little maybe care booklet of sorts that says very simply, Phoebe Philo sunglasses are created from the highest quality materials in several different languages, and then how to care for your sunglasses. I'm not sure you guys can uh, read that, if it'll focus or not. But again, very simple, very minimal. And then on to our item. I know you guys already know which one this is. This is not the most anticipatory unboxing. I'm not sure it's gonna focus, but there is a debossed, embossed, I think debossed logo on the case. And you guys, we have, yes, indeed, the Peak sunglasses. Honestly, I see exactly why these were named Peak. The old Celine versions of these that Phoebe Philo designed that I think are still, like, I checked, they still are going for $1,000 and above, are called the Edge sunglasses. And I like that she was like, I said this in my first video, I have to champion again for people who stay true to themselves and kind of just develop and grow from there, she said, I designed these sunglasses and I love them. And I'm just gonna come up with the updated version. In my opinion, that's what I feel like these are. Perhaps the sides are maybe a little bit more substantial. She does then just have a little logo in here. I'm gonna place a picture for you because I'm sure you can't see that, but on the inside, 
I love actually that little logo detail that just says Phoebe Philo very simply. For the moment of truth, okay, what do we think? At least they fit. I think they fit. I had no idea until filming my sunglasses video, which yes, I did do kind of an anticipation <laughs> in getting these. I just have to admit of how self-conscious I am of buying sunglasses because I have such kind of wide, high cheekbones and such large cheeks and such a wide face. It makes me kind of self-conscious. So I'd really like to hear your thoughts. What do we think? They're actually, I will tell you right now, on. They feel very, very comfortable. That's kind of no small feat, quite frankly. A lot of times I go into a store, I immediately will be, and no, like I will immediately put them on and be like, no, they don't even fit my temples. And these, I will say, really hard to see yourself in sunglasses. <laughs> Just maybe also why I'm self-conscious of it. But I will say they're quite comfortable. And I kind of like the super sharp, like knife edge cut through the top. Okay, I'm dying to hear your thoughts. What do we think? These are the peak sunglasses from Phoebe Philo. You guys, I think I'm kind of liking them. If you guys just saw my sunglass collection, I'm the most basic human of all time. Again, in that video, I go over some of my wish list items. And so this was totally like a completely different shape than any other piece that I have. And last thing, I didn't even see this until just now. There is a little kind of dust cloth for all of your sunglasses are very, you know, need to be cleaned quite often. So this is lovely. You guys, that has been a slightly chaotic <laughs> unboxing of my very first piece from Phoebe Philo. Again, I'd love to hear if you guys were successful in actually having your orders go through. Again, I'm so sorry for those of you who weren't. I hope that, I don't know, I, I hope that things get better. I hope that this just starts a conversation. I know it was kind of just touching on these things, but I think it's really important to talk about. I know I'd love to keep it positive. I love to keep it positive, but there are certain things that can't be brushed under. We don't like to do that. We don't like to brush everything under the rug. And so maybe this will just start a conversation that has many videos to follow. And as always, I'm so grateful for all of you guys, for all of your feedback, for all of your comments. And I truly love you. I'm so excited to hear your thoughts and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys.